In St. Bernard, history is not confined to the classroom. Its heritage is celebrated in ways that are uniquely Louisiana. The Old Araby Sugar Fest is a confection of tasty treats, cooking contests, homegrown music, and a chronicle of the area's rich connection to the caramelized cane harvest. It's also a trip into the past with a trolley tour of Araby's story-rich cultural arts district. We have a wonderful collection of Eastlake, Italianate, bungalow, uh, cottages and shotguns along here. You know, it's interesting when you look at these houses and you recognize the, the layers of history. The layers unfold during William Highland's journey through Araby, revealing the stories behind the 19th century architecture. And of course, all of this was developed in order to provide housing for people who lived, who worked at the slaughterhouse. The neighborhood tells tales of early colonization, commerce, and revitalization. Actually, the boundary between two colonial land grants. And then this land grant, we've been able to trace back to the 1730s. One stop where we don't pass go or collect $200 is a visit to the quaint and quirky Sugar Museum, located in the old jail and courthouse. We have here a history of sugar in Louisiana. And here you can see typical images of a sugar mill, and all of this would be from the late 18th, early 19th century. Rolling past the Domino Sugar Refinery, you realize that sugar is still an ingredient in the parish's growing economy. This is the American Sugar Refinery. When it was completed in 1910, it was the largest sugar refinery in the world. Today, Domino cranks out 8 million pounds of the sweet stuff a day. That's over 2 billion pounds a year, or about 20% of America's cane sugar supply. The festival itself started off as a centennial birthday party for Domino Sugar in Araby. And it has been cooking now for over a decade, becoming a must for families blessed with a sweet tooth. You're just giving away sugar? Of course, it's Domino Sugar. It wouldn't be Sugar Fest without Domino Sugar. Bags of sugar for kids. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, all the parents are welcome. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I to disagree? Who wants sugar? Me! What do you want? Snowballs. What about you? Cupcakes. Snowballs and cupcakes? Yeah. Both? Yeah. All right, but don't tell mommy. Okay. All right, because it's Sugar Fest. Okay. No rules. All sugar, all the time. Okay. Yes, it is a celebration of sugar with confections, cookies, and cakes. Extra sugar. Extra sugar. Extra sugar. Yeah. High five me for extra sugar. But at its sweetheart, Sugar Fest is a family fest of things that kids love as much as candy. Winner! The girls love it, but I'm quite sure this is how Stephen King started. Right here. Clowns. Clowns. There is also the famous donut eating contest. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Tom Gregory with us who's competing in his very first donut eating competition, if I'm not mistaken. Very first and very last donut eating contest, right here. Here, all pretense of a balanced diet disappears. These holes are going down, or they're coming up, one of the two. There is no in-between. Hey girls, don't try this at home. All right, my loves, don't try this at home. This is not healthy eating. There's a whole lot of holes that are waiting to be inhaled. One, stop eating those holes! The thrill of victory and the agony of indigestion. Tom Gregory saying, what did I get myself into in historic old army? Some can meet the challenge and succeed. We get close to a win on this side here. Others like me concede to those that hungered more for the glory. There we go, we got a third place winner. Tom Gregory, you have missed the congeniality, but that's really good. Hey, let's give it up for our champion. That is not any way to enjoy a Gerald's donut. There's better ways to eat Gerald's donuts. Slowly, with coffee. Woo, sugar buzz. 
The sugar buzz will fade, but the family memories of a day will remain. A day where parents said yes, yes to sweets, and yes to the old Araby Sugar Fest.